Good morning, dear students. I am so excited and happy to meet you again. Uh, today you are going to learn uh, grammar, conditional clause. Before that, I would like to ask you a question. How many types of tenses in English? Yes, you are correct. One types of tenses in English. So, because without tenses we cannot learn conditional clause. So, tenses are very important for the conditional clause. So what are the uh, twelve types of tenses? Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Then simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Okay. Now let's learn condition class. Come on. Okay, students. Uh, now we are going to learn conditional clause. Like I told you. So before that, we must know about what is meant by clause. So what is meant by clause? Everybody knows. Clause. Clause is a part of sentence which has a subject and a predicate. Okay. Clause is a part of sentence which has a finite mood. For example, sun. The sun rises. Rises in the east is a predicate of both. You can say. So this is a clause. It has a finite both. So we must have clause in this conditional clause grammar. So clause also can be classified into two. The clause and the main clause. The clause and the main clause. So the keyword which can be used for conditional clauses is if. You know if. Okay, then this is a positive sentence, and if not, if not, or unless, is a for the negative sentence. Okay, right. I think you can understand easily what is clause and what are the types of clauses here. If clause and the main clause. If clause is used to give the condition to the sentence, and main clause is gives the result of the sentence. Okay. So, if class giving what condition? Main class giving gives result. Okay. Now here we have four types of conditional clauses. Four types of conditional clauses. Okay. Let us see now the first type. General or scientific true. Type zero. Type zero. We can use general true or scientific true. For example, the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. That is a scientific truth that you know. Right? The same thing here you see uh, for how to use these uh, uh, what is it, the general truth and scientific truth in the sentence in class, in class and main class. Therefore, we send these tenses. Present simple. So, what are the verbs? Which can be used for present simple. Can you say yes? Is and or B plus yes, B plus yes. Okay. Then if it is in the class present simple, it can be changed in the main class. There is no change for zero zero conditional. What is in the in class? The same thing in the main class. What is that? Present simple, present simple only. For example. If the glass falls, what will happen? It breaks. It will break its law. So you can say, if the glass falls, there is a uh, scientific truth. If the glass falls, it breaks. So, falls is a present form and breaks also present form. Do you understand now? Zero condition means we must have present tense, I mean simple present in the both clauses. The clause and the main clause. Okay? Okay, students, uh, now we are going to learn type 1. What is that? Type 1. Type 1. So, we can say type 1, open type or real type or probable. It is a real one, real thing. Okay? So, general truth and scientific truth can be used only in zero conditional. Here, we can use open type 
are probable or real type one so we can use a tenses in a class same only simple present is am or b plus s b plus s if it is in a class it can be changed in main class what is that what will be the result simple future so simple future verbs are will plus b1 shall plus b1 dear children keep in your mind when we use these future tense will or shall or can or may or might whatever may be all comes along with the present form of the verb comes along with the present form of the verb not for the not anything past tense or past perfect whatever may be we must use simple future with the present form of the verb okay will go shall go like that what we have to use shall be be will went shall went and all wrong okay right so the first type is is a carry in if class we use simple present means in main class it will be simple future clear so the verbs and all please keep in your mind okay so i want to give one example for that if you study well if you study well is a present form study is a present tense so what will be the result you will get good marks you will get good marks you will get will plus b1 so it can be changed into future clear so both the classes will be carry if the class is in present tense and main class will be changed future that is the procedure of the first type so first type is what open type probable or real okay and what are the verbs can be used for this simple make tenses simple present simple future so what are the verbs is am or b plus s b plus s and then will plus v1 shall plus v1 very clear okay students now we are going to the type 2 what is type 2 improbable or imaginary probable i already i told you that it that means real real thing here improbable means unreal or imaginary So we can use a uh, uh, tenses for this class. I mean type two, simple past tense. What are the verbs which can be used for simple past tense? Was, were, be plus, will be. Be plus will be means what? For example, we can take uh, one word, uh, work, work, worked. Then take, took. Uh, but then what? What we can say? More words. What is that? Ah, uh, play, play, like that. Okay. So past tense comes in the if clause. In the main class, future in the past verb can be used. What is future in the past verb? Would, should, could, might. Uh, what is that? These are all future in the past plus verb be one. Be one means present form of the verb. Would play, would go, would come. We can use it, right? So second type, simple past tense in the if clause. Then the result is. Future in the past. Okay. The same thing. Another uh, one more of these there in the type two. Had plus be one. Had is a past perfect verb. Past perfect verb. You know already. Past perfect verb comes along with the past participle. But here we can use had plus be one. Had plus be one means present form of the verb. Had plus if had plus be one comes, we can use the same. Future in the past. That is would plus be one plus would plus be one. For example, uh, if I had a car, if I had a car, I would drive. I would drive. If I were a bird, I would fly. You understand that? Is the second time. Okay, students. This is the third time we are going to learn now. This is the last time. Impossible. There is no way. For example, unfulfilled. All comes under third type. Third type tenses we can use for the if class. Past perfect tense. What is a past perfect tense verb? Had plus be three. Be three means past participle of the main verb. Past participle of the main verb. What is that? For example, you say I already told you um, catch. Catch is a main verb. In past participle of the main verb, a catch is caught. Understand? So, past add plus be three. If add plus be three comes in the class, what will be the result? Future perfect in the past. Future perfect in the past. What is that? Would have plus be three. 
Sudha plus V3. Understand? For example, you see, um, if I had participated in the match, if I had, I had participated in the match, I would have won. I would have won. Understand? Is the type 3. Okay, students, now we are going to learn the example, with the example. Huh? Type 0 already I told you. General truth and scientific truth. For example, see the if class with the glass balls. The glass ball simple the same. Okay? Then the next condition is what is that? Main clause is simple present only. Breaks. P plus S. False. P plus S. So it is a zero conditional. Both the clauses are what is that? Both the clauses are simple present. Verb plus S, verb plus S. In type 1, how many I told you? Open type, real or probable. If you work hard, verb is a simple present. So, if class in simple present means, main class, future tense, simple future, will get. Simple future, will get. Okay, students, now we are going to learn type 3. What, what is type 3? Improbable and imaginary. Not real, it's unreal. So, you see the sentence now. If I wear a bird, where is a simple past tense? So, simple past tense comes in the third type. What will be, what we can use it in the main class? Future in the past. Future in the past. Future in the past means what? Would, should. Then, P plus, U plus, V1. V1 means what? Present form of the verb. Already I told you, all the future tense comes along with the present form of the verb. Okay? So, it's a simple past in the if clause and main clause, future in the past. Then, type 4, impossible, unfulfilled. There is no way. So, if I had participated, I would have won the match. Had participated. What is that? Had plus B3. Had plus B3. If it comes in the if clause, the main clause, we change, would have plus 1. Would have plus 1 is what? Would have plus B3. 1 is a B3 form. Would have plus future perfect in the past. Future perfect in the past. Okay, the third type is, and once again I will repeat. If in the if clause, past perfect tense comes. Past perfect tense verb, had plus B3. If it comes in you know, it could be changed in main clause, future perfect in the past. That is, would have 1. Understand? Okay, students. This is the first one, first conditional, you know, already I told you. Zero conditional. Zero conditional. What is zero conditional? Zero conditional expresses a natural event like general truth or scientific truth. See this uh, explanation. Facts which are generally true or scientific facts. The condition always has the same result. Same result the same, same tenses. Present simple, present simple. This is also often used to give instructions. Example, if water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. If you heat highs, what will happen? It, it melts. So both clauses will have present simple condition as well as result. So this is called zero, zero conditional. Next one is first conditional. First conditional, it expresses the thing that is likely to happen. First conditional. Okay. Ah, a possible situation in the future. Predicting a likely result in the future if the condition happens. See the example. If it rains, what will happen? I won't go to her house. So, here we are using present tense. Verb plus S. Yes, rains. Here, what, what will be the result? Future. Simple future. We must use the simple future tense. I won't go to the to her house 
next example if the train is delayed train is delayed what will happen she will be late so the present tense verb is 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 delayed so we can use the result in the first condition future tense will be late okay i think you can understand the first condition okay students next we see second conditional what is second conditional improbable first condition probable real open type second conditional what improbable imaginary imaginary uh, then uh, hypothetical see unlikely situations unreal or impo improbable situation now or in the future example if i won the lottery won the lottery one is a past tense we are in this uh, condition we must use simple past past simple so what will be the result future in the past future in the past future in the past verb would so if you, if you have uh, past simple in the f clause the main class we must use future in the past would would plus be one would plus verb would buy so if i won the lottery i would buy a big house another example if i were rich where is a simple past so then what will be the result future in the past would plus be verb would plus be one i would travel all over the world understand so this is a second conditional i think you can understand the next one is third conditional third conditional is unfulfilled or impossible see we imagine about something in the past that didn't happen example if we had taken a tax taxi if you are taken the taxi what will what will be the result so third conditional we must use the verb in past perfect what is a past perfect form of a verb had plus b3 had taken if it comes in the uh, if can if clause and uh, the main clause we must have future perfect in the past future perfect in the past verb is wouldn't would have would have plus v3 so the answer is we wouldn't have missed the flight if we, if we had taken a taxi we wouldn't have missed the flight if i hadn't done my homework what will happen my teacher would have scolded me so had plus v3 hadn't done so the result is future perfect in the past would have scolded scolded is a past participle form of the main verb scold right so this is the third conditional okay dears that's all now i'm going to uh, explain the task 1 question with the answer you listen carefully then task 2 you must do as a homework okay students now i am going to explain the task 1 questions with answers okay using four types of conditional clauses see the first question if i dash be a spider i dash weave a web b is a b form of the verbs you know uh, is am or was where is am or we can use it in present tense was where use we can use in past tense you can now listen what condition uh, could you uh, can you guess what condition is this first uh, question yeah you are correct second condition it is an imaginary one 
improbable unreal so the verb be can use if i were when we can use for the imaginary thing we use a, a plural verb past form of the verb were if i were a spider uh, okay so we are using second conditional past tense zero conditional first conditional second conditional improbable past tense if clause in the past tense what will be the result yeah future in the past so the answer is would be would be would plus present form of the verb be so the first question answer is if i were a spider i would weave a web write in your notebook second question you see the same thing uh, improbable condition imaginary one if raj dash be a sculptor he dash make beautiful idols see if raj raj this is an imaginary one so we can use plural form of the verb where if raj were a sculptor he dash make beautiful idols so answer is if raj were a sculptor he would make beautiful idols okay right third question if mary had an umbrella third question comes under third conditional what is that unfulfilled impossible so here we can use in if clause past perfect tense with the past participle or uh, in the main clause we can use future perfect in the past but here you see just listen carefully if mary had an umbrella there is no past participle form in this sentence so this is comes under second conditional already i told you had plus verb if add act as a main verb there is no past participle which condition we can use second condition improbable this is not unfulfilled or impossible this come this uh, question comes under what second condition if mary had an umbrella okay so second condition what is that result she would lend it to me she would lend it to me okay the next question rex would have played with me if e dash has time would have see this this is a third condition unfulfilled or impossible would have played future perfect in the past would have plus v3 would have plus v3 comes in the Uh, main clause what will be the result uh, what will be the condition in the if clause if he had had is a past perfect tense verb then had plus v3 what is a v3 form of has had so had had rex would have played with with me if he had had time okay so write in your notebook uh, next question this also comes under second condition what is that second condition improbable unreal and imaginary if i were you dash i dash accept this offer so second conditional in the if clause if it is in the past form and main clause will be what will be the result future in the past so we can use the verb would if i were you i would accept this offer i would accept this offer the next question you see we dash select story books for kids if we a lot time for story telling so what condition is this could you find uh, can you guess yeah this is also past condition is the first condition right if we allot time for a story telling allot time is a present tense so what will the result what will be the result future tense first condition we will select 
we will select next one is the ed education minister sorry okay so the next question the education minister dash visit our our school tomorrow if he goes by this way if he goes goes the simple present so simple present comes means it is first conditional so what will be the result in the main class future tense the education minister will visit right will visit our school tomorrow if he goes by this way next question you you will be rewarded by the wise if you dash stand for truth if you stand for true stand it's a present tense so the answer is you will be rewarded the wise by the wise so you will be rewarded by the wise if you stand for truth so stand is a answer next question if my mother dash no of my poor performance in the exam performance in the exam she will not allow me to watch a movie so this also comes under first condition if a mother if my mother mother is a singular so we can add yes to the verb knows if my mother knows of my poor performance performance in the exam she will not allow me so if my mother the condition is what first condition present tense we are using simple present knows k n o w s then what will be the result in the condition uh, sorry result she will not allow me to watch movie last question you see if i had won the lottery i dash donate relief materials for the flood victims so uh, what is the third condition oh is it, what is it um, unfulfilled or impossible so in the if clause if you use past perfect tense plus p3 had plus 1 had plus v3 so what will be the result yeah you are correct future perfect in the past donate is a question is there no in the bracket so answer is i would have donated i would have donated relief materials for the flood victims clear so a uh, clear explanation i have given for the first task task number 1 now your homework is task number 2 so you have 12 questions in task number 2 so complete and uh, use the formulas that i have taught go through well then you can give the correct answer uh, write with the question and question with the answer okay write neatly in the notebook and send it to your respective english teachers to me also okay. i hope you would have understood the grammar part well thank you friends uh, i hope you would have understood uh, condition class from the beginning to end zero type zero to type okay now i am going to give questions fifteen questions you can attempt the question and write in your notebook neatly write the correct answers and get signed from your parents and send it to your respective english teachers send it to all the teachers okay thank you god bless you. okay dear students thanks for watching god bless you all